Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Madam Ashika and all of my friends. So today, I am Ashika Fizana and this is my partner Afiq Sofyan. We are going to be demonstrating self-defense for that every single one of you should know. So before we start, I need all of you to keep your phone away because we are going to show some steps. We are going to take some action for today, okay? <laughs> So self-defense, why do we need to learn self-defense? Okay, so as we know, for the past years, criminal records such as rape, attempted murders, burger, burglar, <laughs> burglary, and also um, thieves, uh, it has been increased for the past years. So for everybody's safety, why not we just learn some basic moves of self-defense? <laughs> so, um... For now, um, we, uh, we can't do it together because I'm a boy and she's a girl. So why don't we call out for some volunteers? Are there any for some volunteers for the men? <laughs> what? Imran, you look so excited. <laughs> come on, come to the front, come to the front. I can volunteer also. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we got some two very um, strong um, volunteers. So. Okay. Uh, for these two act, uh, volunteers, they will become the attackers and we will show you and demonstrate on how to defend yourselves, okay? Okay. Okay. So, who would you like to go first? Men or women? Men. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, step aside, let's look at it. Okay. He's so strong. He's so masculine. Oh my God. Okay. So, uh, the most common attack is when a guy comes to you and he takes a big swing. That is the most common attack used by people, okay? So, uh, when when you see that a punch is coming, don't don't run away. Just because you won't have the time to run away, okay? So what you do is, okay, ready for the big attack? You see you see what I just did? So in slow motion, when he takes the big, uh, big punch, wait, when he takes the big punch, he takes the big punch, don't step away, because when you take step away, you will have another chance to strike again. But when he takes the big punch, you go directly into him and block his hand. Push his hand downwards. He won't have the time to swing this hand. So quickly, uh, hit his chest with your elbow. If you're tall enough, you can hit his face. But if you're short like me, just do his chest. Okay? So that's when the guy takes a big punch. So in fast motion again, just like that. Okay, next for the woman. Alright, so uh, usually the man will try to grab our hand like this. So I will show what we can do. Okay, Alia, you can try to grab me. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, so what we can do is our hand are grabbed like this. We can try to wiggle our hand to lose his grab on our, our wrist. So we try to look, make sure your hand fall into a fist like this and then you use the other hand and hold your fist and then like it. <laughs> <laughs> so I show you again. You just grab, yes, grab. You try to lose his grip, and then yes, like that. And then I'll show you the second step. Okay. Well, the second method of self defense. Okay, imagine that I'm just a small guy, right? Imagine I'm being attacked now. And then, and then I try to run, and then my hand swings too far, and he even takes a hold of me. I can't do that. No, no, that's not, that's, uh, that, nothing will happen. So what we do is, okay, so what we do is, use your body energy to swing your body and also his arm. So it kind of looks like this, and take a hold of his arm, like that. While holding his arm, his body will be like, crooked for a bit uh, and in that time just push his shoulder it doesn't need to be that hard but you just push it like that after that you kick his behind his knee and then you just go with the <laughs> shoulder to the head okay so uh, if, it, if uh, imagine if it's in fast motion right and I'm running and then he takes a hold of he takes a hold of my hand okay so immediately oh. just like that and then and uh, when he's down, he's kind of paralyzed, so make a run for it. Okay, so that's when you run. Okay, so for the second one, so after you get rid of his grip, you have to run away. But what if the person 
catch you and grab you from behind. Yes, come <laughs> So what what can we do if the person is grabbed? Our body like this. So what we can do is use our elbow. You can use any elbow that you think which one is stronger with. <laughs> so, so you can use any elbow that you think which one is stronger if you are left-handed person. Maybe your left elbow is stronger. So use our elbow not, and hit his stomach like this and use the other hand. Grab his wrist and twist it. <laughs> okay, like that. And then we have to knit and knit. Kick the back of his knee until he falls to the ground and then we can either punch or maybe kick his stomach again and run away. So that's all you have to do. So I show you again. Grab me. <laughs> and then use your elbow and kick his stomach. Use the other hand to twist it and then use your, <laughs> use your feet to kick the back of his knee and then punch. That's all. So, uh, for the next step is when the enemy, the encounter actually just is holding a knife. So, when you when you see a person holding a knife, not, not by meaning that your mom is cutting onions, but <laughs> by the means a man is trying to stab you, okay, what do you do? Right. Will you scream? Yes. You will scream! Oh my god, you guys are so weak. You learn self defense today, okay? So, um, normally in movies, you see that when they try to stab you, they go like this, right? So, they, they do many kind of stuff, right? But for self-defense, it's actually really easy. Remember the second step that I showed you? Okay, just combine this. Okay. It's actually really easy, just... Okay, uh, the purpose of me holding my axe here is to block his arm from coming to me. So look, it actually really blocks him. Even no, no matter how strong he is, I can actually block him. And then just take his hand, Put his, uh, hit his hand right here to make him drop his knife because uh, his hand is like it can be broken right now so he wouldn't risk that uh, his strength to uh, be still holding the knife and then you kick his smart stomach to make him lose balance and kick the back of his knee and just punch him in the head and then you make a mark for it <laughs> okay. okay okay so far for women, what we can do if the person is trying to use the knife to attack you. So what we can do is, you you have to block his arm. You have to use, make sure you use the opposite hand. Opposite hand. If the person is using his right hand to attack you, you have to use your left hand. Because if you use your right hand also, the person will easily grab you from the below, like this. And he attack you. So we have to use the opposite hand and then punch him in the face twice and then maybe you can use your knee again to kick his private part because that is the most painful part and he will collapse and you can run you can ask for help or maybe call the police so I'll show you again <laughs> tell me you have to block using your forearm and then punch him in the face twice and then kick him so that is all. Okay, so uh, that's all from us. But there is a, tri uh, a tip that I got from the movie. Oh, oh thank you for the one you said. You <laughs> okay, okay. So there is a tip that I got from a movie called Babysitters. If you think that you're too small to be fighting the encounter, uh, just run as fast as you can and let him chase you. Just let him chase you, and when he's nearly to reach you, drop like a bag of rocks. And he will trip over you, and when he stand, and when and you uh, and you immediately stand up and just kick him in in, in the nuts, because that because as Ashika said, that is the most painful area of the man. Okay, so okay, so for the conclusion, uh, but before we end our demonstration, there is also other ways that we can use to attack the if someone is going to attack us, we can also prepare three things that is easily to bring anywhere, such as pepper spray a pocket knife and a pen. The pepper spray, you can spray maybe their eyes so that they won't be able to see for a while because it is too painful. So you, have, you can take the opportunity to run. And for the pocket knife, if they try us with a rope, maybe you can use the pocket knife to cut 
cut the rope and for the fan we can use to maybe attack his sensitive area like the face and then he will be feel very painful so that is all from us uh, but before we end I would like to advise girls even though we are girls do not use our gender as an excuse for not learning self-defense we have to defend ourselves also so that's all thank you